Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another RC related review. Today I have a very nice uh, product here in uh, this uh, tiny box. Uh, and uh, this is actually an FPV receiver, but what's different about it is the fact that it's not a conventional receiver, but it's a micro USB uh, OTG uh, receiver module which will work with uh, Android devices so you can uh, use this with a tablet PC or a smartphone and uh, turn uh, that display uh, directly into a receiving monitor and of course you can use uh, screen grabber applications and uh, you also get a DVR uh, using this module uh, it does have a bit of latency as this model has around 100 uh, milliseconds delay, but uh, that is okay for larger uh, uh, drones. Uh, this is not uh, made for racing drones, it's not its purpose, but it's very useful if you are flying FPV with a plane uh, or uh, larger uh, aerial uh, quads that use a secondary camera for capturing video or a GoPro or something like that, where the delay it's not uh, that important, but it's more important to have a large screen and a uh, good image quality. So this is uh, where this came, comes in. Uh, it also has 150 channels, which is amazing. And you may ask, uh, why would you put 150 channels into one receiver when uh, most transmitters only have 30 to 40 channels, including raised band? Uh, actually, uh, this uh, does a very smart thing, it scans the whole uh, 5.8 uh, spectrum and it chooses uh, the highest uh, signal for the highest signal quality of that camera and uh, I must also specify that uh, FPV cameras, uh, actually the transmitters, uh, even though they have the same number of channels or appropriate number of channels, they do have some uh, frequency offsets and uh, not always uh, the channel of uh, the transmitting camera will be the exactly same channel of your receiver. They may work, they may work not. Or let's say channel 1 from the camera will work better with channel 2. Well, in this case, uh, the receiver will scan the whole band and will choose the greatest signal quality uh, in uh, very small steps. So from that 150 channels, it has more chances of finding the best signal for your transmitter, regardless of the channel it runs on. So let's install this to connect it to my tablet, because the tablet has a USB Type-C connector. I'm going to use this kind of uh, OTG cable. Uh, if you have a micro USB tablet or phone, the receiver uh, comes with its own OTG cable, you can see from micro USB to micro USB, which is very nice because it spares you having too much adapters like this. Uh, I can't use it in my combination, so I need uh, normal micro USB to USB and then USB to Type C cable for this tablet, but uh, we'll get it to work. The receiver will uh, need an application on uh, the smartphone. I'm using the Pokey FPV application. Uh, there are uh, a lot of applications on uh, the market which are free and work with uh, this device. Uh, this one I have tested and works just fine, so I'm just going to use that uh, for this uh, demonstration video. I'm going to start the application and you can see it already has connected to the receiver and you have an option to do a kind of uh, 3D goggles things if you want to and now I'm going to power on my transmitter camera and I'm going to search for the channel uh, this has a button here which is hidden I don't know if you can see it it has a small bump here so if you keep this pressed it will start scanning the frequency just like that and it does the 
analysis of the band and you can see there it has got the best signal and after it finishes scanning it selects the best channel and you can see now I have clear image uh, the delay is definitely seeable but as I've told you it's not that great it's uh, very usable it's actually perfectly usable if you do not race so you will not use this type of uh, receiver for racing drones where uh, lag counts and uh, you don't want to have that but for larger quads this is more than uh, perfect it will work just fine and this application uh, it already has a built-in recording option so you don't need another app to record the footage this has its built-in recording which is perfect and let's see from the settings we don't have settings you only have monitor always on and that's it but it does the basics you even uh, get that uh, kind of uh, 3d video which doubles the image and we will have a 3d perspective if you are using things like google cardboard so as you can see uh, it's very easy to use uh, you don't need external power it's power on from uh, your uh, tablet or your android phone and uh, this also means great portability you don't need extra lipos you don't need another monitor you don't need a receiver a large receiver so this can be sticked with a double-sided tape on your tablet and you have a dvr and monitor for your fpv setup this setup is also a very good upgrade for uh, controllers like uh, the one from uh, hubson uh, which comes with a very small fpv screen and uh, if you want to capture some really nice video using this tiny screen uh, will uh, not make it uh, very easy so instead of uh, buying a dedicated fpv screen and the receiver and so on you just need to uh, use a tablet holder and fix it on the bracket like that and you have a instant huge fpv receiver just like that and you will get telemetry on this screen and a large screen here you can also use the dvr recording function and uh, you get a lot more control over your drone uh, you can frame your shots better and uh, that will be a huge improvement for uh, uh, things like this so this was uh, my short uh, test review of uh, this uh, receiver uh, i'm definitely going to test it and use it to record some footage and uh, compare it with uh, some uh, DVRs like the HM DVR, the small DVR that only does uh, VGA resolution. This is uh, somewhere around HD quality so definitely there will be an increase uh, there. So until next time, bye bye!